So in this video, I'm going to be taking this new Nirvana sweatshirt hoodie and transforming it into this vintage inspired classic look. So if you want to know how I achieved this particular look, keep watching and find out. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing my very first DIY project. So fingers crossed that it doesn't come out to be a hot mess or I don't end up cutting a finger off. But you know what? We'll find out when we get there. So I actually have this really cool, it's not vintage, but it's it's just a new Nirvana sweatshirt hoodie that I, no, it's actually not a hoodie. I have a sweatshirt that I had prior, okay? And I loved it so much, I'm like, okay, let me buy a hoodie. That's where I got it all tongue twisted. So I went ahead and bought the same sweatshirt, but in the hoodie style, because I wanted to transform that hoodie and more in a kind of like run down, garbage picking, vintage inspired, just look. That sounds like a hot mess of a lot of different things, doesn't it? But I will show you what I mean. Hopefully again, if everything works out, it's gonna come out well okay so this is the hoodie that i purchased um it's still in the packaging because i just got it now keep in mind i already own this but just not in the hoodie style in the sweatshirt style hopefully that made sense because the first time i explained that it didn't sound right so anyways but i loved it so much oh all that noise girls hurry up it's just making too much noise okay so this is the hoodie now the reason why I love it so much is because of the graphic design that was created for this look. Like I, for me, this brings back so much memories besides the little baby swimming in the pool for the dollar. Like that one, it's that's pretty classic. But now this one right here, it's just the imagery. Like, is that a word, imagery? Yeah, it's a word today. Mm -hmm. It's just, I cannot hold this right, you guys. Like, look at this. Beautiful. Okay, so. I end up purchasing this in a large. I'm kind of wondering, I probably should have purchased this in an extra large because the medium that I have still fits a little bit snug. I mean, it fits comfortably, but I'm now wondering maybe I should have got like an extra large because I wanted this to come off as really just slouchy and baggy. Either way, if it doesn't come out that way, that's perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do with this to give off that vintage inspire rundown garbage picking look <laughs> I know, hot mess, right? I'm going to dis distress, distress, which which is the right word? Distress, distress the hoodie and give it an uh, like a tie dye appearance. So in my mind, it looks fantastic. Now if it translates, let's just hope it does. Okay, so this is how the hoodie looks with it on. Yeah, I think I could have gone with an extra large, but either way, the large is still pretty good. It's not too form-fitting. Grant is not too loose, and that's perfectly fine. I mean, it's still comfortable. It doesn't seem like to really snug me. So now let's just go ahead and get started and show you what we create together. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to distress the hoodie. So what I mean by distressing the hoodie is that I'm going to create some holes, some rips, some tears, some cuts, you know, all of that to give it that, you know, that dirty out the trash can look, you know, you know, all that fancy jazzy stuff. So the first two things that I'm going to use, and I don't know which one is going to work the best to achieve the overall look that I want for this particular hoodie. So I have a pair of scissors. You definitely want to use some really definitely good, some good scissors here and then use um, like a razor blade. So I got this razor blade right here. I use it pretty much for like, kind of like cutting um, wallpaper and things like that. I actually don't use it for, um, for shaving anything of that nature. So it should be okay. It's good that if it's not too sharp because you don't want to completely damage the hoodie itself. Again, I could be completely wrong, but that's just my overall thinking here. So what I end up doing is that I end up spreading the hoodie completely differently because I noticed that it was going to be the opposite way for you guys. So hopefully you guys are able to see what I'm doing. So what I'm first going to do is that on the bottom of the hem, well not really on the hem, but really on this area right here, hopefully it's picking up. I'm going to cut little pieces open or cut pieces into this where they're open. That sounds better, right? I think. 
I don't know. So I have no rhyme and reason. I have no flow or no idea how it's going to like translate. So I'm just making a little bit of a slip right here. And then I will show you what I mean by this. So I'm just doing this. And again, it's just to kind of give it the appearance. So once I wash this, it hopefully, I hope that this will start to shred up a little bit. If it doesn't, what I can also do is that on the bottom of this, get that same razor blade and just lightly, just kind of like chip away on the bottom so that it breaks down the fibers so that when I do wash it, that hopefully it softens up and you get a little bit of those fringes or frays or you know those little loose particles i don't know what i'm saying but hopefully guys that makes sense so so far it's actually doing it i'm not sure if it's picking up your end so let me go ahead finish a little bit more on this side or around the whole area of the hoodie you get it what i'm trying to say right why am i doing all this with my hands jazz hands <laughs> okay finish girls don't get scatterbrained focus focus Okay, so I was able to go ahead and complete the bottom of the hoodie itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the same process on the actual um, underneath the, um, what do you call these? You know what I'm trying to say, right? Underneath the sleeve, <laughs> I have no idea the words I'm trying to use, but I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same process on both of these end caps, whatever sleeve, you get it, good. Okay, so the next step that I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take my razor blade and I'm just gonna go in different directions right here if you notice. And the reason for that is because I kind of want to loosen up the fibers in within the sweatshirt hoodie. So this way that once I start to kind of make some little bit of little lines right here, little cuts, hopefully they will cut. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Because I haven't changed this blade in a minute. Anyway, so, so hopefully then I will start getting more of that wear and tear of a hoodie. So sometimes you will have to go through this process a little bit. I'm only assuming because based on the, the, the thickness of the hoodie versus like a t-shirt, it may take a little bit longer. I know with a pair of jeans that I did this to, it was actually pretty quick. And I think it's because of the jeans that I did it on to create that kind of worn down look, they were already old. So the fibers were already pretty loose. And since this is a newer hoodie, I'm sure that the material is still a little bit more durable at this time. So let me go ahead and finesse this a little bit and then I will give you uh, an, uh, like a visual of what I mean by that. Does that make any sense? Yeah. So I was able to go ahead with a few more passes to create that look right there. So if hopefully you see my finger. So that's what I'm trying to achieve. I don't want to make huge holes. So I just want to make small holes. It like, again, if it's though, like it's just been, it has some life to the sucker, like 20,000 people wore it. So that is exactly what I'm trying to do. Again, it's not going to be all over the hoodie, but there will be some areas where I'm going to get this particular look. So let me go ahead and finish a little bit more and then we'll see the end result on that. Okay, so I was able to go ahead and complete the holes that I wanted. So they're pretty just scattered all over the place. There's no rhyme and reason. I did the sleeves as well. I also did the back also in terms of a little bit of holes. I didn't do as much or as many holes in the back of the hoodie. Um, just because there was quite a bit in the front, so I didn't want to overkill the hoodie, literally, like, kill the hoodie. So, again, that's pretty much it. So, now what I'm going to do is do the same in terms of the trimming around the hoodie right here. And the reason for that is just to also give that same concept where it just looks kind of wear, worn down. So, I'm going to use the same tool that I was using, which is the razor blade. 
And I'm just going to slightly kind of like certain areas just break away the fibers. If you notice right here, it's already starting to kind of like um, kind of like rip apart. And the reason for that again is because once I put this in the washer, the little areas that I started with the little holes, they'll start to soften up and then a little bit of more of the fibers will kind of just hang there. And that exactly is what I'm trying to achieve. So let me go ahead and do this a little bit more so you guys can see exactly what I'm trying to explain. All right, there we go. So hopefully that is picking up on your end. So you see what I mean? This looks just used but of course it's not used, but give that overall appearance. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue that all around the hoodie. So again, no rhyme or reason, no pattern. Hopefully you guys get it. <laughs> So I was able to go ahead and make all the necessary holes, pullings, whatever you want to call it, the defraying, the, you know, you get it, right? Anyways, you guys, so what I'm now going to do is start the, um, the bleaching, the tie-dye appearance or, you know, the overall look. So what I'm going to do is I'm using this particular bucket right here. You don't have to use your bucket. Sorry, it's the focusing. You can obviously use your sink, your bathtub, but just to make things a little bit more convenient for me, especially being in my studio, is that I'm going to put the hoodie in here. And how I'm going to do that is that I am just going, why well, I got the little fuzzy here. I'm just going to like ravel up the arm sleeves first, no reason. and whatsoever again i'm not i'm not trying to create like an overall pattern i'm just trying to bunch up the arms right here and then i'm gonna go ahead and put that in there so now what i'm going to do is do the same with the hoodie but i'm going to do mainly more of the front and the reason for that not the inside because you want to see more of the outside of the hoodie but i am going to pull some of it backwards here over here does that make any sense i don't know you guys so now i'm just going to go ahead and do the same with the rest of the body of the hoodie so now what i'm okay keep in mind everyone does tie-dye completely differently now i didn't want to do like the rubber bands and then anything in that nature plus i don't carry rubber bands in the house just because we have pets and cats and they can swallow that and i really don't need the kids to be choking or the animals choking from rubber bands so now what i'm going to do if you notice all of it's in here right i want to give this the most organic look as possible and that's another reason why it, even if i had rubber bands i would not be using them just because this is going to give me more an organic look overall it's just i hope right like in my head i'm thinking okay this should work so we will see oh my god carlos you gotta slow down because you don't know what you're saying sometimes so let me go ahead and finish this get it exactly how i think <laughs> it may look like Okay, so now since the hoodie is in there, and I think it's good enough in terms of like the bunchiness of it. Again, I'm not trying to do like a big old squishy, you know, like whatever, you get it, what I'm trying to say. You know, I'm not trying to like condense it. I'm just trying to just, just dazzle it like that, just softly. So now you can definitely go in there with um, um, some plastic gloves if you prefer. If not, that's perfectly fine. I, I'm not going to use them for this video, but I would suggest that you do because everyone reacts differently with bleach. And for me, with my asthma, I know it's going to cause an issue, but I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible so I can avoid all that. So right here, I just have a an unused, brand new, you don't have to use a new one, you can reuse other bottles, but in here there is 50% um, bleach, not 50%, but like half and half so half of bleach and then the other half is water in the same amount that i use so it's already mixed up just so that i don't confuse my sale for next time because i have a tendency to do that all of a sudden i'm thinking there's like free breeze in here and god knows i don't want to do that to the couch so i had to make sure that i put the bleach and water label on here so 
So now I'm gonna go ahead, cause again, this is brand new. I haven't used it. So let's just take a look and you know what? And we're just gonna squirt it all over the place right here. Let that dry. And once that's dry, I'm gonna flip it over to do the opposite side. Does that make sense, you guys? Okay, if it doesn't, yeah, I don't know. But hopefully with me showing you now, it will start to look like something here. So um, obviously the color will be different in terms of like the, in terms of the fabric, you know, lighter, so you're gonna get a different shade. Um, grays you get a different shade and black you'll get a different shade so if you notice I didn't change the consistency of the spray meaning you could if you wanted to do like light sprays over here heavy sprays over here again I'm just going what comes out of the bottle itself and whatever lays there lays there because again I just want to be able to try to create the most organic look so that it does look dingy dirty worn down basically vintage chic. You get it, right? I think so. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this set for a few, maybe a good 30 minutes. And then once that's done, I will flip it over. At that time, I will wear my gloves so I don't get little burn marks from the bleach. Okay, so I was able to go ahead and do both sides. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just take it out so you guys can take a look. So what I'm going to do, I am just going to let it air dry for a little bit. So hopefully you guys are able to see. And the reason I'm going to let it air dry is because I am then going to put it in the washer so that it can wash. Like, look at this, like do you not see? This it came out. So this is what I mean, like it came out so beautifully. Like. I wanted to have like such an organic feel without feeling like you have like the little tie twists from the rubber band. So even like the back of the hoodie itself or the hood came out really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let this air dry. Obviously I'm gonna put some fan on it to speed up the process. And then once this is done, I will throw in the washer and then we will give you my final thoughts and opinions in terms of like my DIY project, my first one. Hopefully it's not a hot mess. <laughs> okay, so this completes my overlook over my over wait no this completes my overall look there you go I know it's gonna come together somehow one another anyway so this is my very first DIY project of my hoodie transforming it from a new it was still nice don't get me wrong into this fabulous garbage chic look tie-dye and with rip holes and everything it's super cozy i know once i start brushing brushing <laughs> yeah i'm gonna start brushing the the sweaty the, the sweaty it's a new name sweaty hmm don't trade your mark that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Anyways, so um, once I start washing it a little bit more, then it won't be it's so stiff, because right now it is a little bit stiff. Um, I'm not sure why, maybe it's just the fabric. But other than that, the hoodie came out really good. Like, I kid you not, like I'm pleasantly surprised. Like some of the areas, hopefully I can show you where, the, where I created the holes. I like how they came out. Like they do look run down so they're not too bad now in terms of like the end areas where i cut this area it didn't really necessarily break down as much as i wanted to in the sense of creating like a fringe um, i'm guessing i was anticipating maybe that you know when you do it to a pair of jeans it will do that fringe type of whatever you want to call it the appearance that it did not do that here which is perfectly fine I'm thinking eventually in time once I start to wear this down a little bit more and wash it then I may get a little bit more softer but who's to say I mean overall I am 100% pleased with this particular look and how it came out so as I mentioned earlier in the video I did purchase this hoodie from directly from Amazon I'll definitely include a link just in case if you're interested in this particular hoodie as well um, it did cost me $34.99 uh, might as well just round it up to $35 I don't know why they don't add on the extra penny but anyways yeah I mean so let me go ahead and put on the hoodie for me or for me 
for you guys so you can take a look so i do like the fact that everywhere it looks completely just natural as you saw the video before i mean it looks really good i mean it really does it doesn't look like it was strategically I can't say the word. It doesn't look like it was purposely placed in certain areas to get like, oh, I need to have that particular look. No, it just looks organic. And that is exactly what I was trying to achieve. Now, just to recap again, in terms of the supplies that I use, I did use like 50-50 of half bleach and half white. Same amount in terms of like the ounces. I just kind of pour to make sure that it matches the numbers. That's pretty much it. I did use a brand new empty bottle. And the reason for that is just because I didn't want to get confused with my other cleaning products because I have a tendency to do that. And I did label it. And besides that, I didn't use any rubber bands or any strings as you guys seen just because I want to be able to create this more organic appearance with the hoodie and the two products that I did use I went in with a fabric scissors so you definitely want to use some really good scissors and then I went in with a razor blade and the reason for that the razor blade is because it would help me to kind of break down the fibers of this sweatshirt and this way it would have been a little bit more easier to do it that way versus actually cutting it with the scissors because then once I do that it would create too much of a clean cut and I didn't want to give that impression. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys like my first DIY project? Do you like how it came out? Leave a comment below. Let me know you guys thoughts and opinions. I'm now really intrigued and really want to now do other projects in the same concept. What I am mostly happy about is that it doesn't take away from the imagery right here in terms of the graphic design because if you look at it, hopefully if I stand up and don't fall, that most of the tie-dye is around it. So it actually cases the whole like vision of this around. So for me, that was like, whew, perfect absolutely but anyways you guys i really hope you guys like my diy project also leave a comment below let me know if you guys are interested in watching other lifestyle diy projects because i definitely want to branch out and work on that a little bit more as well and if so just let me know your guys' thoughts because if you really do like this video which i hope you guys do because let me tell you it took all day to do this <laughs> just leave a comment below and say yes carl's we would love more diy projects but anyways you guys until then, ooh, I'm just talking too much. I'm getting a lot, losing my breath here. Whew, I need to lose some weight. Anyways, until then, y'all, make sure y'all brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe. You know what that means? Just hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload new content, you automatically get the notifications. Yes. But until then, you guys, take care and have a great one.